like the world's worst uh, about one mile along there. All right, folks, here we are, another day, another project, but we got our old uh, swinging tailgate bench here that uh, it's been sitting for a while. Finally got the body work done on the actual tailgate part of it, you know, pulled it a little bit and then just slather on with some body fill to get it smooth, putting a first coat of primer on it so we can find all the little imperfections take care of pinholes and whatnot get it final primed and then uh, we'll be able to move this thing on through the stages the rest of it's not in bad shape it's just the very front of it it was the biggest piece of junk obs tailgate that i had and you know if you're going to ruin something don't ruin something nice right so you saw me spraying some primer using a pps cup the 3m uh plastic primer gun i had to stop because it ain't got no primer in it so now we are going to let this dry with the aid of some heat we're going to take off and we're going to use some uh, sim aerosol guide coat on this got a long block with some 180 grit sandpaper and not a brand new piece of used piece and we've had a heat lamp on this thing for about an hour and 15 minutes now so our primer is fully dry enough to be able to block sand and we're just going to get after it. All right, so if we zoom in here really close, you can see some pretty deep scratches, a little unfinished, maybe the edge of some filler there, some more deep scratches sand throughs back down to our body filler had a little high spot in the metal there and then over here kind of got the same sort of stuff so we're going to take and mix us up a little two-part putty and we'll scrape it off into these uh, affected areas uh, sand that down and then finish blocking this top and we should be ready to go that dark color in there that's why you use guide coat guys so that will uh highlight any defects that you have when you're block sanding.
right guys, so after all that work on this thing, we got our pieces kind of just set in place here and you can see it's really starting to take shape. And this is just the glider part and the framework, all the other stuff has uh, been single stage painted black the way this little frame has. And I've got to go in and finish weld this round rod on this side, this side of it, it's already all welded in there. So you got a nice little edge that's not gonna cut anybody. And we got our wood sit in there to make it look just beautiful. So yeah, we'll get this thing done and I'll bring you in to show you maybe some of the painting process. And uh, I wanted to give you an update on the old rocker bench and it is coming along amazing hand dress got the black paint i have my wood is just like set in here right now because um, i didn't account for these taking up an eighth of an inch so i'm gonna have to do a little trim job on the my end boards there to get it all to lock in tight but man you can see she's looking pretty cool this is just the uh Another mock-up, I guess is what I'll call it. It's almost done. <laughs> there you go, guys. It's the, the glider rocker. You can see how everything fit together. Got this cool looking I don't know if it even will show up in the video. Got a little bit of metallic in the paint just to make it look cool. And uh, yeah, so I'm just so thankful to finally get it all done and put together the armrests. Took a minute to get built and then just been busy doing a lot of different things. So I did try to save as many different clips as I could over months of video, just a little here and there trying to catch the processes and what it took to build this. It's really cool. I think if I were to make a for members only part of my um, YouTube channel, I would uh, put all the plans and the, the machining uh, blueprints and everything for this project. Those things would go into that members only. Leave me a comment. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. I would make it uh, super cheap. I was watching Pole Barn Garage, and I mean, his membership is like uh, $9 a month or something like that. It's pretty cheap. It may be less than that even. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that idea. I haven't really pursued it, and I don't know that I will, but I do have blueprints and plans to build a rotisserie to roll a car around so you can work on the underside and I've got all the dimensions and drawings for this that are you know they're up to date because we just got through doing it uh, anyway let me know give the video a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it's free for you guys and uh, leaving those thumbs up and comments they really help but we always love those new subscribers and i'm so glad that you guys stuck around so we will catch you on the next video